Hello, my name's Hugh Wilson. I'm an Ostcycle bicycle instructor working for Council. I'm here today with Councillor Sue. And we're going to do a 10 point bike check before she can ride away on this bike. When you buy a bike, you have to make sure the frame fits you. So the first test is to get onto the bike and make sure you can put your feet firmly on the ground. You have to be able to have the handlebars close enough to you and there's a little give in your elbows. When it comes to the saddle, make sure there are no rips or tears on anywhere, that the saddle is firmly secured and that it's the right height. To set the saddle at the right height for you, just move your pedal arm like this in line with the frame tube here. And then measuring off the lower pedal, you, you, you sit on the bike and move the saddle up until your right leg here is nearly straight. And then secure the saddle tightly. With the handlebars, just make sure that the grips are in good condition, the levers are firm, make sure that your knees don't hit the handlebars as you rotate the pedals. We're going to look at the brake pads now. The brake pads are really important because they are, uh, they are the point of contact between the brake levers and the wheel rim. They are the things that slow you down and stop you, so they're very important. The front brake pads are here, attached to the brake levers and uh, controlled by that. The rear brake is here, controlled by this brake on this side here. Now it's really important to ensure that there's as small a gap as possible between the brake pads and the rim on both the front and the rear brakes because you don't want to have too big a time between pulling the lever and the brakes actually slowing you down. Uh, we're just going to test the front and the back brake and it's very simple. This is the, the front brake. You just push the bike and just notice how the, the rear wheel lifts up and the same on the rear one. You just push it and, uh, and the tyre skids so you know that the front and rear brakes are in good working order. We're going to look at the brake cables. They're really important because they activate the pads onto the rim and they are joined by the lever to, to the pad down here. But you need to check the cable at this end here and, uh, and on the rear to make sure that they're tight and uh, they're adjusted on these levers, so you just make sure that those are fairly secure. It's important to check your tyres before you ride for any tears or baldness in the tread here. So you just lift and spin the tyre, checking the tread as you go, and do a visual on the sides for any cuts. Before you inflate the tyre, you have to check the sidewall because that has the tyre pressure that you can put the tyre to, moulded into the tyre wall. This one is 65 pounds per square inch. Having connected the pump to the tube here, you can check the tyre gauge to see how many pounds per square inch you have in there. This is 60, so it needs another five pounds to go in. But now we're going to check the wheels. So you have to just Lift it slightly, make sure the wheel spins freely. That's the front. And the same on the back. And then you check for loose spokes. If you do find any loose or broken spokes, make sure you take your bicycle for repair. Check the rims for damage where the brake pad goes around and on the rear. Just check that your pedals spin freely and that the surface is not damaged. With the gears, you must make sure that the front gear changer is adjusted properly and the, and the wire is not loose. And the same, just check the rear wire or just check your cable end is capped and not frayed. 
that that's secure. With the chain, just make sure by backpedalling that the chain runs freely. And then to make sure the chain isn't too loose, just lift your bike a couple of inches and drop it to make sure the chain doesn't come off. Then visually inspect the chain to make sure there's not too much lubricant on it. In Queensland, you must have a working bell and a reflector on your bicycle. If you're going to ride at night or early in the morning, you must have a front light and a rear light. Before you leave home, make sure your front light and your rear light are both working. When you buy a helmet for your bicycle, make sure it has this Australian standard label inside. If you buy helmets from the internet from overseas, they won't have this label and they're not legal in Australia. If you have an accident and damage your helmet, you must replace it. If you see any cracks in it at all, you should replace it as well. If the straps are frayed, you need to replace your helmet again. If the inner fitting section becomes damaged, you need to replace your helmet. So we're just going to fit this helmet to make sure it's, it's okay for you. So if you just want to put that on loosely. Okay, now the helmet has to be level on your head. And if you just get your two fingers, like put it on the bridge of your nose and bring it down, okay? That's the front fitting of your helmet there. The back of the helmet dials in and out. So if I just dial this in, you tell me when it feels comfortable. All right. Okay? Yep. And then turning again, these straps have got to be just below your ear. The V has to come down here. So if I can just, and then do the clip up underneath. Cycling is a great way to get out and about across the region. It also helps you to get active and keeps you fit. But make sure you check the 10 safety points before leaving on your bicycle. Visit Council's website to download this checklist. <laughs>